here guys what's going on enzo coming at you guys with a quick video this time it's a little different we're uh doing a quick how-to and breakdown video on the heli side of things uh, i've been having a ton of fun flying helis again coming back to it uh, and i just wanted to make a quick video for those that might fly hobby wing and spectrum um, and possibly even the futaba guys that have been struggling with it so uh, to elaborate um I've noticed that a couple guys that fly the Spectrum setup and fly the Hobby Wing setups for either a 700 class with the 200 amp speedo, the 120, 130, or the 150 amp for a uh, 600 size helicopter. Um, the Hobby Wing has a feature in it where if you unclick throttle hold uh, while attempting an auto rotation, uh, in theory, if everything is set up correctly and done right, uh, it should initiate what's called the bailout, which will allow the head and the motor to spool up immediately and hot spool uh, to basically save your helicopter from a potential crash. Or if you want to uh, practice your auto rotations and you're working on the approach um, and you don't want to land the helicopter, you kind of want to, you know, bail out of the auto rotation as it's coming down, getting close to the ground, you unclick hold and it will hot spool and basically bail out from the auto rotation. So, I've noticed that some guys are having an issue with getting that calibrated correctly. Um, I'm not a uh, pro uh, heli guy by any means, or neither do I represent or, you know, uh, fly for Hobby Wing or Spectrum. It's just something that I noticed and that I did for my setup. It works perfectly uh, fine as intended, uh, and I have it this way on my Kraken 580 and on my 420 RAW as well, and it, the bailout works perfectly as intended um, in the way that the V-Bar and V-Control guys have been able to get theirs to work. So I'll go ahead and power on my Spectrum NX-8, uh, and we'll go ahead and dive into it a little bit more. All right, now that I have my radio out, before we jump into the radio settings on how I have everything set up, the only reason why I have the program card out was just to set a reminder for myself to let you guys know that I am running the internal governor on the speed control. Uh, I have it in the stow gov mode. I do not have it in the external gov to run the FBL's governor. So this is all being done on the stow gov uh, and works perfect. So just wanted to clarify that for anyone that might be running on an internal governor. I wouldn't know if this particular setup would work uh, for a um, FBL unit internal governor versus running the one off the speed control. So again, this is using the Hobby Wings internal governor uh, on the speed control. So jumping into the radio settings, um, just real quick, before I did this, I used to run my hold switch in the back H switch, which is a normal two position switch. Um, and when I started to attempt to get the auto or the bailout to work correctly with the Hobby Wing speed control, uh, I quickly realized that having it on a two position switch wasn't working correctly. Um, and essentially what it was doing is as soon as I would attempt to hot spool the helicopter in the air or I would try to practice an auto where you hit hold, you start an auto rotation, and if for any reason you want to bail out of it and come back around or try it again, uh, I was forced to land because when you unclicked hold, it would force the soft 12-second spool-up time that's pre-programmed into the hobby wing versus the one-and-a-half-second hot spool that's set up in the bailout. Um, and it wasn't working as intended. So what I had to do is I just went into my flight mode, which I'll show you, and I assigned the G switch, which is my top right three position switch, as my new hold switch. And it's mostly inspired by the way that the V control guys uh, fly their radio, where they have it um, all the way towards you as their motor off or our hold. And then in the center, they have it at motor idle, which in this case, we're gonna set up a throttle cut and I'll show you how that's done. And then all the way away from you would be back to your normal mode or completely on uh, in flying. So you need to assign it to the three position switch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into the settings and I'm going to go to my flight mode setup just to show you how I have the hold switch set up. It's very simple. Again, hold switch is set to G and I have it initiating all the way towards me. So this is hold all the way towards me. So very simple there. You will have to assign the three position switch uh, to your hold. So that's very simple. And then lastly, the uh, problem solver and what ended up being the solution for me is you need to set a throttle cut to the same switch. 
So again, all the way towards me is hold, which is number two. And then in the center, when I go to the middle position, that will initiate the negative 25% throttle cut on the radio. So when I go to the center, if you see the, the little dot at the bottom, it'll highlight that throttle cut feature. So what this does is it allows the radio to uh, allow the speed control to kick in the bailout feature correctly on the hobby wing. Like I stated before, when I didn't have this and I just had hold and then normal and or running, um, when I would unclick hold, it would force the 12 second spool up time and the bailout wouldn't kick in in hot spool the way that I needed it to, uh, which could result in a crash if you're practicing how to do auto rotations. So doing it this way, if you read the manual in the hobby wing, the hobby wing needs to see a value between 25 and 40 on the throttle curve to be able to initiate the bailout correctly. So the only thing that I did is when you're flying and you click to your throttle cut in the center to initiate an auto rotation, at a negative 25% value, it still kills the power. So it's, it, it's almost like a hold, but it doesn't take the throttle value all the way down to negative 100, which when it sees negative 100, it essentially resets the arming of the speed control. So when you unarm it and you go fly, it forces that 12 second spool up. So doing it this way, where we set that negative 25% value, if I initiate an auto rotation and I'm flying and I initiate it, we're clicked in the throttle cut. The second that I unclick out of it and I want to bail out of my auto rotation, having it set up this way immediately kicks in the one and a half second bailout that's set in the hobby wing. I've tested it over and over and over again, made sure that it worked. The first helicopter that I set up this way was my RAW 420. I tested it and actually flew it. Uh, and it worked completely as intended, and it did its job. And now I've basically just copied the same exact setup onto my Kraken. Uh, and again, everything works as intended. It spools up immediately, um, and it works, again, completely as intended with the bailout. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera outside. And with no blades, no main blades or tail blades, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between having just hold and no throttle cut and basically... Pretending to fly, hitting hold, say counting to two or three seconds, and then unclicking to initiate the bailout, and you'll see how slow the head spools back up, and then showing you the difference with this setup, where we initiate an auto rotation with clicking into the throttle cut mode, and then as soon as the throttle cut is unclicked, you'll see how fast the head spools back up and kicks in the bailout in the hobby wing, which is exactly what you want it to do uh, when everything's working correctly. So. We'll go ahead and get the helicopter set up outside uh, and I'll go ahead and show you the difference and hopefully you can pick up on that. All right, so we got the helicopter all powered on, initialized, everything's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I have it clicked up into my uh, bank two, so uh, idle up two, which is my most aggressive bank. And I just want you to pay attention to, as soon as I flip hold, which I'll let you guys know when I do, I'll do a two to three second count and I'll unclick hold and you guys will get to see how slow the spool up is again from the second that you would essentially bail out of an auto rotation. So let's go ahead and unclick hold and we'll let it spool up all the way. And then as soon as we get to spool up, I will basically click hold back on. We'll count to about two or three seconds and then we'll essentially bail out of an auto and you guys can see how slow it spools up without having the throttle cut first. So here we go. We'll let it spool up. count to one two three we'll go four and let's unclick and look at how slow the spool up is that's a full 12 second spool up so as you guys saw right there if for any reason we had to bail out of a fast approaching auto and we needed power to save the helicopter that would have resulted in a crash. So 
What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and set up the throttle cut feature that I walked you guys through, and we'll come back and show you a comparison video of the bailout working correctly on the Spectrum radio. All right, so now that that is all set, we are ready to go and show you guys the comparison, this time having the throttle cut initiated. So the same thing's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and spool the helicopter up in my idle up two to my fastest bank. Uh, we'll leave it spooled up for four or five seconds. And what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and I will jump to the center of my three position switch right in the middle, which will initiate that throttle cut. And then we'll count to about three or four seconds and the second that I unclick the throttle cut, you guys will get to see the bailout working correctly and the head hot spooling and basically saving the helicopter uh, in the event of bailing out of an auto. So let's go ahead and spool it up. And we'll let it spool. just clicked on the throttle cut in the center. We'll count to one, two, three. Now watch the head. We'll do it one more time. We just click to the throttle cut. We'll count to four or five. One, two, three, four, five. We want to bail out of the auto. It's coming down. Let's save it. So that is how you successfully set up the auto rotation and the bailout on the three position switch on a Spectrum uh, and using the throttle cut to get it to work. So super easy, uh, took me two, three minutes to get it set up. Um, I tested it a couple times on the bench and then I made sure it worked just like I showed you guys. And then when I went to the field with my 420 and tested it in the air, it worked the same exact way. So. Uh, this is how you set up the uh, bailout correctly on a Spectrum and moving the hold to your three position switch. So uh, I hope this was helpful and if for anyone that uh, might be flying Hobby Wing and Futaba, if this applies to Futaba, maybe one of you guys can go ahead and make a little comment down below and say that, you know, this is the same process. Maybe this helps guys with Futaba as well. Um, but this is the 100% way that I've gotten it to work perfectly as intended with my Spectrum. So. Again, hope this video was helpful and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.